Hello and in this video we'll be looking at queues. So the main characteristics of queue are that a queue is a linear data structure which means that you have one element followed by another element followed by another element. Its size is flexible so it doesn't need a fixed amount of size allocated beforehand like in arrays and the queue follows a FIFO first in first out pattern when removing an element. So if we have blocks queued up in a line, the first block in that line will be the first to go out as well. Now that we know the characteristics of a queue, let's implement a queue. We'll be using a linked list to implement a queue. So let's create a node class. So class, now each node holds the element data and a reference to the next element in the list. So let's set those two and let's create our class queue and the queue will have initializer, our is empty method, a peak method, an add method and lastly remove. Now the queue will have a head which is the first element to be removed and it will also have a tail which is the end of the queue where we add more elements. So let's put them in self.head and tail. Now the is empty method will just do a check whether there's any elements in the list and that's as easy as just checking if the head of the queue is empty. So self.head equals none. Now the peak method returns the data of the queue head. So let's return the data in head. Now if the queue is empty, this will throw an error. So let's just do a check here. So if self.head, so only return the data if there is a head, else we want to give back a none. Now when we want to add a new element to the queue, we add it to the end of the queue, so to the tail. And to do that, we have to create a new node, which has the data. Now if the queue already has a tail, we want to reference the new node from the old tail so we link that up and then we set the new node to be the tail so let's create a new node and we want to pass in the data now if there is a tail we want to link this tail to the new node so the current tail will now reference the next node in that queue and we want to set self.tail to be the new node we also want to do a check if the queue is empty. So this new node would also be the head. So let's do self.head equals new node because there's only one element in the queue. And this should be self. Now let's look at removing an element from the queue and returning the data. We know the queue follows a FIFO pattern, so first in, first out. So we want to remove the first element in the queue, so the head. And to do that, we just remove this link between the first node, the head node, and the second node. And then we just set the second node to be head and then return this data. First, if the queue is empty, we just want to return none and do nothing to it. Let's take out the data that we want to send back. So self.head.data and let's set head to be the next element in the queue. Now if removing the element from the queue makes the queue empty, we also want to set the tail to be none. So let's just do if self.is is empty and let's just set tail to be none. And finally return the data. So that's the characteristics of a queue and how we can implement it in Python. Next we'll be looking at stacks. I hope this video helped and as always if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below and I'll meet you in the next video.